All right, to begin our investigation to test whether our gases can be trapped in ice, we're going to use the following. We're going to use a heating pad that's been turned on to high for a while, so it's nice and hot. We're going to use ice cubes that have been made with carbonated water. We're going to use two of those. We're going to use two ice cubes that have made, been made with non-carbonated water. And we're going to use our CO2 detector. You'll notice it's under a bowl right now because I um, don't want to have other things affecting that carbon dioxide reading, like my talking right now, um, so that we have a base or a control start. So to begin, I'm going to take my two ice cubes of non made with non-carbonated water, place them in my Ziploc bag, and um, close it up. Like I said, it's on the heating pad so that that can speed up the melting process. And then I'm going to put my two ice cubes of carbonated water in the other baggie that's labeled carbonated ice cubes. And again, close it up and leave it on the heating pad. Um, right now, the reading on the CO2 detector has been around 682, 84 or so. So we'll let this melt a few minutes and then we'll come back and we'll test what the carbon dioxide reading is in the carbonated water baggie and the non-carbonated water baggie. Okay, it's been a few minutes that we've let our ice melt in the bag. Let's see if there's some water around it. So let's check what the reading is on the carbon dioxide detector in each of the bags and think about when you see the numbers and if they change, what that means about whether gas can be trapped in ice. We'll start with uh, the reading here under the bowl in the air is 685. We'll see that change as I take the bowl off, I'm sure. 686. We'll start with the carbon, carbonated water ice cubes. detector inside and seal it up. And I don't know, let's see. If we look inside the detector, it says 1,010, 1,145, 1,260, 1,310. So what is that telling us is going on inside the baggie? What is it reading inside the baggie? And can gas be trapped in ice? We'll take this out and check. Right now it's at 1,520. We'll check our non-carbonated ice cube bag. We might need to let this reacclimate. Okay, the numbers on our carbon dioxide detector have come down. They're not fully at the start as we've all been sitting around breathing and talking, but the number is down around 752. Remember in our carbonated ice cube bag, it was all the way up to 1,510 or so. Um, so we're gonna put this in our baggie of non-carbonated water to see if, or ice cubes, I guess, to see if as those ice cubes melted, were there any gases released. So I put it in and it was at 752. Um, it's still at 752. And 753 and fluctuates in our air too um, but it doesn't seem to be changing like it was in the carbonated ice cube bag um, so what does that tell us can gases be trapped in ice